What's up, guys? Chris Seitz from FC Dallas. FC Dallas fans, please welcome back from his save, FC Dallas' own Chris Seitz with a big round of applause. Have you filled out your bracket? I'm about to fill out mine, and I'm going with mascots. To the middle! Due to the Jackrabbit speed, I'm going to take South Dakota State over Eastern Illinois. I have a feeling that the Jackrabbit can run away and get a run and get away. These hairs wrote the book on evasive action. Next up, we have the Bethune Cookman Wildcats versus the Coastal Carolina Chant Chanticleers. Now, the pan or the Wildcats are at home, which means they're on their home surface, and one swipe from a mean Wildcat is going to knock the Chanticleers right off the field. The ancestor of the domestic cat is the wild cat. Bison is at home. I'm gonna go with the bison on this one. It's a big animal and at one good step and the jackrabbit's done. The adult's focus is now set on a ruthless competition. We have the Wofford Terriers versus the New Hampshire Wildcats. The old classic battle between dogs and cats. I'm a dog guy myself. Next up, we have the Georgia Southern Eagles versus the Central Arkansas Bears. I'm gonna go with the Central Arkansas Bears on this one. They have mean, mean claws, and one big swipe is gonna knock the eagle right off, right out of the air. In the end, the eagle decided it was not a battle he could win. We have the Old Dominion Monarchs versus the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. This is 2012, people. The Monarch is gonna come out and shoot that Wildcat. As I said before, I am a dog guy. He's gonna bite the bison's ankles and he's gonna hit the ground hard. We have the Central Arkansas Bears versus the Old Dominion Monarchs. It's being played on the human's field, but I think I'm gonna take the bears on this one. Oh, we had someone that got been attacked and bitten pretty badly by a bear. Big semifinal matchup. We have the Wofford Terriers versus the Central Arkansas Bears. Now, although I am a dog person, the bear is gonna kick some butt today. Park officials say they will not try to capture or kill that mother grizzly bear. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never heard of a sea wolf in my life. I'm taking the Wildcats in round one. We have the Wagner Seahawks versus the Colgate Raiders. Now, if it were me, I'm gonna have to go with the Raiders on this one. Just too mean and vicious. All right, next up, we have Montana State Bobcats versus the Villanova Wildcats. Now, it's a classic cat versus cat matchup, but let's be honest, the Bobcats are at home and they're on their home territory. Bobcats are opportunists and will try to kill almost any prey available. Now, the bear cat is mean and vicious, but the Mustang is just gonna run and trample it. Now, the Redbirds are gonna be pretty passive and the Mountaineer is gonna trample all over them. These Raiders are not gonna be able to handle the talent of these mean, mean eagles. It swoops in for the kill. Now, when Mustangs get together and they're all on the same page, they run over people. Sorry, Bobcats, Mustangs next round. Eastern Washington Eagles, Eagles are sharp talons, Mountaineers are not gonna be able to handle it. They're gonna do exactly what happened to the Raiders, get beat up. The Eagle can't afford any mistakes. We have the Cal Poly Mustangs versus the Eastern Washington Eagles. Now, one's a land mammal and the other flies in the air, but little do you know the Eagles have to stop at some point. They're gonna get blindsided by a trampling Mustang. Mustangs to the finals. Huge final matchup. Central Arkansas Bears versus the Cal Poly Mustangs from San Luis Obispo, California, my hometown. Now, a group of Mustangs, all working together, are gonna trampede over those bears. Sorry, Central Arkansas, but Cal Poly wins the final. Come to our stadium January 5th, 2013, to watch the Cal Poly Mustangs take on Central Arkansas Bears. Well, hopefully.